Let's try to understand quasi-concave functions intuitively. Assume you're a student and at night you prefer either studying or watching Netflix. So picture your happiness based on Netflix. If you're not watching Netflix, you're automatically studying. So suppose you are not watching Netflix at all. What would be your happiness level? Pretty low, right? And suppose you kept on us to watching Netflix. Again, your happiness level will be pretty low because you will have that procrastination guilt. Anything in between five hours of study, five hours of Netflix will give you the peak amount of happiness that you can have. Now, this is exactly what is the idea behind a quasi-concave function. It's like saying this is better than the extremes. Now let me give you a 2D example of it. So you have two options at a party to choose from. Pizza slices and you have sodas. Suppose you take tons of pizza but no hardly any soda, you won't be that happy. And suppose you take a lot of sodas and hardly any pizzas, again it won't be that much fun. A quasi-concave function basically models your preferences. If you mix some pizza and soda, you are at least as happy or you're better off than the worst case which is, say, having just soda. This curve shows that you prefer balance. And the function that would be depicting this kind of behavior would be a quasi-concave function because it will satisfy the definition. So what is the whole idea behind a quasi-concave function? It basically means that a mix between two choices like Netflix and studying will keep you as good as the worst choice of, say, just watching TV.